Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to boost your frames for P3D. Um, before we get started, um, you'll see that I have my download right here. Um, before we get started, I would like to thank my good friend Ali who created this frame boost. I mean, this kid is just magic. He hooked me up with P3D and he just like he gave me all the hookups. He's a really he's really awesome and his YouTube channel as well is just it's phenomenal if you're looking for you know, free add-ons and and whatnot, excuse me. Um, anyway, so this is just going to be a brief tutorial on how to boost your frames. It's very easy, it's very simple, don't don't worry, it's not going to be hard or anything. Um, before we continue, if you're watching this, I'm um, hoping that this will work for Flight Simulator X. Um, unfortunately, you're out of luck. This is only for P3D version 3.0, so... We're working with very little here. I don't even think this will work for any of the previous versions of P3D. I think it has to be for version 3.0 academic. Um, Ali and I have the same computers, so we've been communicating in terms of the CFG, and we really had no problems with it. Um, the only problem I had was earlier today I was using it, and I didn't, you know, surprisingly, I didn't have any crashes. My game didn't crash during any of my flights. But every time I'd go to load up a flight, I think it happened like three or four times until I restarted the computer. So I think it was just a matter of restarting it. But other than that, I really haven't had any other problems with um, this .cfg. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to leave this as a download in the link below in order to uh, retrieve this frame booster. Um, so what we're going to want to do after... You bring this to our desktop, we're going to want to press the Windows key followed by R if you're using Windows 8. If not, you're just going to find, I think you're just going to look, you're going to go to search and then find your CMD, I think that's what it is, and then it runs. And then the, this run program comes up. If this isn't typed in, percent app data percent, go ahead and type it in, then press OK. Alright, it should bring you to your roaming folder. After you get to your roaming folder, um, you're going to want to find your Lockheed Martin folder, which is located within that. And then you'll see two folders here. You're going to want to click on the one that says Prepar 3D version. And now I said before, I'm not sure if this is going to work with any of the other versions, so you can try it out. Um, if it fails, um, don't worry about it. Um, you're just going to want to remove it, and then you know, you're going to want to start up your P3D, and it'll actually create a default one for you again every time you start it up if you don't have it in there. I'll explain what that means in a little bit. So you're going to want to click on that and you'll see you have your Prepar 3D.cfg. If you want, you can make a backup. You don't need to worry though. Um, I created one. I just explained it. Uh, I just explained it before. Excuse me. Stuttered over myself there. Um, let's say you install the .cfg and something goes terribly wrong and oh no, I forgot to make a backup. Um, one, I put a backup inside of here so you really don't need to worry about anything. Um, Two, if you just like deleted my file that I the download and you lost the backup and you think you're out of luck and it's not going to work anymore, don't worry. What you can do is you can actually delete the .cfg. So I could go ahead. This is my default. I could actually delete it. Look, it's gone. And watch what happens if I go ahead. I just want you to pay attention to the file right in here, and I want you to see what happens when I start P3D. You're going to see, see it created another .cfg. So you really have nothing to worry about. It'll create a new one if it sees that it's missing from the directory. I just want to let this open, and then I want to close it. Oh, man, it takes forever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to do that, but, you know. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and close this. All right. So we're now in the install. Um, ex excuse me, by the way. My brother and his friend are over, so you might hear them chatting in a few seconds. So once you're in here, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the download that I provided, and you're going to see a few things in here. Um, this video is not yet up on YouTube yet, so let's say like somebody just comes across this and like needs an install. I'm going to provide a link in here on how to do it. Um, so here you're going to see the backup, and then you're going to see a file called Frame Booster. Go ahead into there, just copy it, and paste it into your P3D version 3 folder. Click replace and you're done. That's it. Um, all right. Here's where there's two different paths right now. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I encourage you to keep watching the video. If not, you're done and you can just leave. Um, you can close down all of your files. You don't need to worry about them anymore. 
Um, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I really urge you to stay. You can leave, but this will help you on top of the frame booster. What I'm about to do is basically it's going to let your program synchronize your, it's going to let P3D synchronize the frames and it's just going to be stellar and fantastic. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're going to want to go ahead and right click on your desktop, click on NVIDIA control panel, and here it will open up the NVIDIA control panel. Um, if it doesn't automatically send you to manage 3D settings, just go over to this left little arm right here, click on it, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your global settings first, set this to make sure, never use auto select, it's terrible. Use your high performance NVIDIA processor, I already have it set to that. Um, then go over to your program settings, and uh, I already did it earlier today, but if you don't, find your Preypar 3D, um, go ahead and select that. Then, even if it says use the global setting high performance NVIDIA processor, um, basically what that means is it's only going to use the high performance NVIDIA processor, like if you're at an airport with a ton of scenery and the frames start to go down, then the processor is going to kick in and it's going to boost your frames. And what happens is the frames can sometimes they won't be synchronized and then that could actually cause a lot more of a frame loss rather than a frame boost. And this will have this even with the CFG, it might even cause a crash. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and switch this from use the global setting to the high performance. And what this is going to do is this is going to synchronize every single frame and it'll make your chances of any sort of crashes happening to like a minimum. And even if they do happen, I never found a crash in the middle of my flight. I found it while I was loading and all I had to do is restart my computer and it worked. Once you do that, you'll just click apply. Um, should take a few seconds to load up here. And... Once that's done, you can just close it down, and you're good. All right, thanks so much, guys. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, let me know how, the, how this worked for you guys, if the frame booster worked, if you're, really, if you're really loving it. Again, I didn't create this. It was created by my bro, Ali. Go check out his account and give the guy a lot of credit for doing this. I'm going to include his YouTube account as a link below. And uh, along with this, I'll leave this with a link to go to it. Alright, that wraps it up for this video. Peace out.